Welcome back, everybody. Film lovers unite this week as the Austin Asian American Film Festival heads to AFS Cinema starting on Wednesday. Neha Aziz, Artistic Director of Austin Asian, is here to tell us more. We uh, love having you here this morning, Neha. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Lovely. It's so nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. I want to ask you, what can people expect from the Austin Asian American Film Festival this year? Um, they can expect um, a lot of great films. We have 31 films this year, uh, 12 feature films and 19 shorts. Uh, three shorts will play in front of feature films and we have three short programs. Um, it's taking place June 26th to 30th at AFS Cinema. Um, it's a beautiful space. Um, there's gonna be a lot of great parties and events and lots of great food. Um, so every time we try to Put together a program we try to make sure that it's you know cohesive and well balanced and has something for everyone so you know no matter what you like you will find something i'm sure you'll enjoy in our lineup okay when i'm looking at the title of this film festival neha austin asian american <laughs> i'm wondering how that is applied to the actual films are we talking the directors are we talking the content are we talking the actors what does that mean yeah so we kind of have a very like like loose interpretation, right? So like Asia is such a large continent. <laughs> There's so many cultures and languages and religions. So obviously anything from the continent, but yeah. So if you have a director, a screenwriter, um, the cast, like the subject matter, like we have filmmakers who are, are not Asian who are making films um, about um, a particular topic that might affect Asian Americans. You know, um, for example, there is a film called MSG where it talks about MSG and the director is not Asian, but like we were talking, they're interviewing a lot of different um, Asian Americans and chefs and everything about like what MSG is. <laughs> um, so really, it, as long as there's like a significant connection, mm -hmm. um, then you we try to consider um, a wide range of films. Wow, and it sounds like a wide range with all these shorts and the feature length yeah. films and all of that great stuff. Can you talk to me about some of the things that you're really excited for attendees to see this year? Yeah, um, so like I said, we had three short blocks and that's relatively new. We did have three last year, um, but this year we have a shorts block that's called the not so shorts, shorts block. <laughs> and so each of these films are about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, which is still considered a short film. Anything under 40, 45 minutes, depending who you ask, is considered a short film. Um, so that is something totally new uh, for us. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and we will have a Texas premiere of a film called um, Men in Blue by a Texas filmmaker named Session Diraj, who will be there for a QA. and a um, We have a film called Inside the Yellow Cocoon Shell, which is so beautiful, um, and it won the Camera d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival last year, which is given to the best first feature film. The filmmaker um, on is from Houston, and he will be here for a Q and A. Um, it is a little bit on the longer side; it is just under three hours. But if that's a film you're going to see, like the best place to see it is at AFS Cinema, and that is playing Saturday afternoon. Um, we also have some things for sports fans. We have a film called Ashima about a rock climber named Ashima and like you follow her um, through her journey and her like her parents and you know it's um it's really a, a portrait about like what it takes to be the best and like kind of like what age people need to start out at um, to pursue their dreams. Um, there's also a film called Home Court which follows a basketball team. Um, so so many different things. <laughs> yeah wow yeah it's quite a quite a gamut. Um, I yeah. want to ask about, you know, I was just watching a really cool trailer about this entire festival. It said exclusive parties as well. So can you yeah. talk to me about anything beyond just the screenings themselves? Yeah. So um, for our opening night film, uh, we will have a reception at the AFS Cinema Lobby. Um, so uh, that is open uh, to anyone who watches the opening night film, not just to badge holders. Uh, we have a badge holder event at Donkey Moe's on um Thursday night and um that's really exciting it's actually walking distance from my house so that's always nice. great <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um and then uh Friday's our big 
centerpiece night, red carpet night, where we have the press interview um, filmmakers and just like know more about the festival. And we have our centerpiece party that night at St. John Studios. Um, we also have a private event on um, Saturday afternoon for, for our filmmakers and like filmmakers in Austin as well. And on Sunday night, we have our closing night party at the Golden Horn, um, which is also walking distance from my house. So love that. <laughs> you planned it um, well, Neha. <laughs> yeah, love, you know, I take public transportation, so I'm like, great, anytime I can walk home is great. Um, and we'll, during the closing night party, we'll, we'll, we will announce like our, our jury winners and, and things like that. So, um, and that is open to everybody. Okay, wonderful. It's hard to keep all of those parties straight. I'm very impressed that you were just able to do that. All the up. Well done. Um, something I want to ask about is, you know, somebody who maybe doesn't feel like they have a lot of access to Asian American uh, culture, or, you know, that's, that's not really um, something they grew up with. Is there anything that you want people interacting with these films to kind of walk away with? Um, I think that, you know, we are like the Austin Asian American Film Festival, but so many of the films that we show, like they're universal experiences, right? So like, I think every, everyone can deal with, or everyone has dealt with, if you look kind of through like our program, people like there's, there's modern romance, there's perseverance, there's wanting to give up, there's, there's, you know, trying to figure out um, where we belong. Like we're trying to figure out like our emotions and like how we deal with that on a daily basis, right? Like those ex experiences aren't unique to the Asian American and Asian culture, but are universal. And I think that um, some of my favorite films are themes like this that are universal, but also like have that bit of culture sprinkled in, right? So if you see like a different language or a different part of the culture or like a food or like a like funeral service that's very specific to a culture like film is just a fantastic way to get to know about more about things that we just may not know you know or just uh broaden your horizons and that's like one of the like I want people to get from the festival is like we're we here to it, Neha. I'm so sorry we're gonna have to leave it there but we appreciate your time aaafilmfest.org y'all to get more